Hey guys, what's up? This is Fafway and welcome to episode 1 of my Let's Play Farming Simulator 15 at Sandy Bay Gold Edition. So, as you can see, we are here at Sandy Bay. You can tell by the amazing coastal views here in Devon, UK. Um, and yeah, we are about ready to start. So I've added some mods, which is what I'm going to show you today. So you can see what I've got and where we are going and what we are doing. Um, but I want to say at this point that it is open to you guys to uh, suggest stuff to me. But anyway, I'm not going to talk too much before we start, so let's crack on. So, first tractor we've got to is the Class 650 Orion. Looking cool. And of course, I have got the Massey Ferguson 7480. Because it's a Massey Ferguson, we're on a very British map, so I thought, let's give the Massey Ferguson a lookout. And uh, funny we should mention Massey Ferguson because a couple of days ago uh, Farming Simulator 17 was announced and um, by Giant Software and the release image had a Massey Ferguson on it so it looks like that's going to be some official content from them which is very very exciting. Over here uh, we have one of the tippers which is the smallest roll speed which is the 5830 Roland Tipper we got a little New Holland Tipper, uh, Tipper telehandler. We got the New Holland TC590, which comes with uh, the map. Uh, then over here we have got the Amazon Pantera sprayer. We got the big old uh, cedar, and then we've got all of the attachments for a bizarre choice, you might think, but I can never remember what it's called. The Ross, um, what does it say? Drossel Mash <laughs> Combine and with all the attachments I thought I'd give it a go it might be a mistake <laughs> but I've only used it on the uh, Sols Novica map and only for a short space of time so I thought I'd give it a go We've got the potato harvester, the header and some lawn mowing equipment what else have we got if we head over to this side of the farm which looks very British and realistic so before we look at them we have my third and final tractor I thought I'd go New Holland just because we had that New Holland pack and I got so many of them so it's the New Holland T7 270 so not the biggest one but you know it's up there uh, kind of staples of any farm we've got the round baler we've got the milk and water tanker we've got my favorite Fortuna tipper and the smaller cedar and this uh, kind of shows my intentions really we've got the uh, wood chipper and um, other things that we have got which we haven't seen so we've got the flegal uh, tipper for silage and wood chip we've got ah yes we also have the feeder for the cattle which I've bought 25 of we got some cows we have placed the greenhouse and that's about it so having having a look at the map um, we're down at the bottom and we're going to start off nice and simple with setting the combine off in field 28 which I think is barley which we're going to go and check out so I'm going to get the smaller of the tippers that I've got go over there take the combine over there and set him off on his way and then we're going to go straight into getting cattle ready and by that I mean silage baling all of that jazz water milk you can't give milk to a cow I don't think <laughs> right anyway so let's start off in the Massey Ferguson over here having a wonder oh, imagine that was your farm with that view hot air balloon cool right let's go and hop in here and I will be using or I am using should I say the SATA wheel for this so my turning of my precision should be silky smooth but, you know, I think it's <laughs> Hook that up. Right, we just need to... Uh, to start with, I am going to be a little bit... So we kind of want to go straight ahead and right and up that road. Okay. We can do that. So we want to go through the gap, and then the main exit and entrance to the farm is over here. Maybe I'll need a way to this. Oh dear, I've left the gate. So that's not a good start. And which way did I say we wanted to go right? Whoa. Right, 
And we are off. Out on the road. Excellent news. Ah, oh, Sunday drives on the country lanes. Uh, look at the view though. It's utterly amazing. Like, I thought Cold Park Farm was good, but I'm going to have to look at it this time. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Right. So there's the field over there, I can see it. I just need to hope that the entrance to it is on this road. So this is going to be the first few episodes of me getting used to uh, the direction of everything, where everything is. Hoping it is just here on Oh, there it is. Sorry. Right, let's hop out and hope that the gates open that way. So I've got animation map trigger, which is what you need to open these gates. To extra mod, you can't just uh, look at it. You can't just uh, get in and play straight. Uh, get in and open. You have to install that first why did that not open okay not quite sure what happened there anyway oh he's in a shot uh let's just park him down here for now don't go on the crop that's the worst thing we can do so let's just get him out of the way here so we now need to go to go the wrong way wouldn't I? Can this tow? Uh, yes. I think it can tow its own header. There's only one way to find out and that's to get stuck in this mud right here. <laughs> Holy crap. Yes! Bazinga. Right we're gonna have to go on this view because I'm scared of crashing into stuff. And we will head off to the field to get working, earning that cash. But I'm excited for this. As I said, I was waiting for the Northwest match to, map to be released, um, but Bullet Bill, I contacted him. He said, you know, he was making progress with it and it was looking good, but it wasn't. He couldn't tell me when it was going to come out, but it probably wasn't going to be that soon. So I've taken the decision. To just get on with this one and do another series, which I'm hopeful that you will uh, enjoy, and you're glad that I've taken this decision because I certainly am. This is good to be playing this again. I was doing, you know, sporadic videos with um, mods and things like that, which I do enjoy because I like seeing how stuff has been developed and uh, how mods are doing. But I really wanted to get my like, teeth into something as they say. So here we are, driving through the countryside. Does look impressive. Like, really, really impressive. Look at that view, man. There's not many places in the world that are, have better views than that. I'm taking a picture of it, but that won't make it as the thumbnail. <laughs> Right, let's hurry up, shall we? Right, well, I think we're going to have to uh, jump out here. That's the way to the Enchanted Forest. Wow. Yes, there we go. Perfect. I'm gonna have to go on the crop here, which is slightly annoying. If I that, hurrah! Could probably do with using the massive to get that out of the way, actually. Nice. Let's just go around this corner to give me some time. 
get him lined up. So we're going to do the headlands, send him on his way doing that. So let's unfold the harvester, get the beacons on. And here we go. So we want him to go round and round to the left, auto combine on, uh, unload mode standing, and let's see what happens. Well, he's on his way and he's dropping it. So we will get the uh, straw from that. As you can see, it's got different texture mods, so it looks pretty good. And yes, we are off and away. How cool is that? Right, so I will now uh, just disconnect that for now. And we'll now go and try. Move this out of the way. And it's already. need to put it so the only thing that's going to get in the way only thing it's going to get in the way of is me in my massy which is already super cool <laughs> I love it I should have used this mod earlier really. whoa right okay so while that does that um, we have got in here, um, so we've got field 20 which I think is barley as well, got two grass fields here which is what I think I'm going to have a crack at now to get some silage. So let's do that, that is a case of jumping in this guy. Okay so first thing we need to do is get this hooked up to the grass cutter, grass header should I say, which I'm pretty sure is, is it that one? Which one is it? Let's not cock this up, grass header, that's the one, I thought it was, I knew it was, I just need to be more confident. Okay, so now we need to head round to the Flegel Dipper, which I put in the correct field, which we're going to do first, which is field 31, which is right here. Don't let the cows out. So it's quite a nice wide track. So the idea here will be to do a few, maybe a couple of tipper loads of grass, and then we'll go and get the mowers to then do some strips so that we can. Bale. It's definitely the plan, and he is now too close to the wall. <laughs> right, okay. So, firstly, get your beacons on, <laughs> as always. Get the pipe out. Lower header, there we go. Hey. There we go, right. Let's do a few strips of this and see how we're getting on. Oh, it's not very fast, <laughs> evidently. But hey, speed is not important when you're harvesting. So let's sit back and enjoy a few strips of wonky mowing. Try and keep as close to this wall as possible without an accident. The uh, computer control panel is pretty good in here. I yes. So, while we're cutting some grass, I'd love for you guys, as I've said before, I would love for you guys to share with me what you would like me to do on this map. If there's a specific part of the game that you'd like me to do, if you, you want me to focus on dairy, if you want me to focus on, on 
have to do at least a couple of episodes you know, on beef farming or sheep because it has these capabilities or if you want me to use a specific mod then please do get in touch on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter I'm all just at Spathboy on there so go and check me out um, and I really do want to hear what you guys want to see because that's kind of the idea of this channel these videos are for you I enjoy making them but I make them for you good drive The idea will be is to go and drop these off into the silage pits, get them covered up so we've got some silage going and then we'll open up the lawnmower, do some strips, bale them and hay presto, we'll have some hay <laughs> to feed the cows which is vitally important because otherwise then we can't be having enough of like 110 percent productivity. Do a couple of times round if we can. We're already at 92 percent. Wow, that is pretty full. Oh God! And stop. Okay, let's head back out. And I'm pretty sure we can empty the tipper from here. Uh, can we get out of here? Let's go and check out when we can get out. We can, but we literally need to be here. So <laughs> why would you not? Right, which one should we use? Let's use the one that's easier to get to. <laughs> We fill. We fill by two percent, three percent. Wow! I think we need to be at ten percent for us to be able to do that. So that's what we're going to do, isn't it? Fill this up. I can't enjoy my grass. It's fun. Right, see how we can go through these. You can see where I've got my greenhouse up there. Uh, so I have to go round. So for those of you wondering when you're cutting grass how you make sure that it goes in the tipper is you have to use the correct tipper. You can't use any tipper because some tippers don't accept grass. So you need to be careful because you can end up buying tippers if you don't need it. Right, so there you go, there's the greenhouse that we need manure and water for to get the best out of the manure. There's where, that's where you would chip those, where you would chip, chip, chip. which I think is an addition for the um, gold edition version of this Sandy Bay farm. Which is quite cool, it's trying to make a telegraph client, which we haven't. Excellent. Wow, that looks cool. That does look very cool. Uh, yes. We'll just keep going around like this. We'll have to do four loads of this climbing, but that should be plenty to give us enough for some bales, because we only need a few bales for the cows that last a long time, the hay bales, and we can also do others at times, because we've still got all of field 25 to come well, so no worries there at all. Um, also, just to keep you updated on the on my live streams, it is 100% something that I am going to be doing. It's not something I want to do, as in, I want to do it, it's something I am going to be doing. It's not a maybe, it's not if, it's when. Um, so to answer that question is when I get fibre broadband, which isn't available in my area yet, but they reliably inform me that it will be arriving soon. And soon, I personally think will probably be between 
two weeks and a month and then we will be good to go so once this is full 70% once it's 100% we'll just go and check on the combine make sure it's not stuck anywhere and hopefully he will be in full and then we can get him loaded into the rolling roll speed or <laughs> the, <laughs> the pipe won't fit over the trail and on this view just because I think that it's more interesting to watch when it's on this view rather than being in the top bit. But we can do it. Does it give you how full uh, anyway, uh, the red ninety six percent cool. So that is now full as full can be. So let's just go and check on. And he is stuck, predictably. <laughs> he should be okay now. Yeah. Right. Uh, so continuing on his way. That's annoying, I hate it when that happens because he's only now 18% full. So he's not needed anymore, or yet. Right, let's go and unload this guy. I like how we've got two things going on at the moment. And we're not just focusing on one thing so that while he is stuck, at least we're doing something. But I really I can't wait to kind of get used to this map a bit more. Obviously on Culver Park Farm, my original series, which you can find in my playlists, I um, I got to know the map and zooming around. This still needs a lot of exploring this map. Uh, and I need to look into beef and sheep and things like that because I have never actually used the mods before. Uh, properly, so you need like you need still need to feed them and everything like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's do a bit compacting while we're here. him, but he seems to be on his way now, doing what he likes. It's cool, I like it, I really do like But I think that is going to be it for this episode. I think it's a nice little starting point. So we've got ourselves doing a couple of jobs that we'll finish off in the next episode before moving on to other things that might be bailing or water for the cows, etc. But hopefully you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please drop me a like. Subscribe for the rest of the series, which is going to be at least one episode a week, hopefully two. And um, please, as I said, in the comments or on social media, get in touch and let me know what you want to see. But for now, that's going to be it. Goodbye.